Hello, Leos. It's Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. Happy birthday to you guys. I'm actually recording this video on the night that um, the sun goes into Leo. So, yes, today is the 22nd. So, happy birthday. Um, let's get started on your reading. This is the reading for October. October? What the hell am I talking about? What is wrong with me? <laughs> this is your reading for August. Jeez. Um, so, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I know, you know, for those of you who watch my channel frequently, you know that I do the love reading. I do full Celtic cross, but what I'm going to do this time is what I call like the full story. So we're going to just shuffle because I know some of you don't like the shuffling, but I, I used, I'm going to use a deck that's really quiet. It's really, it's a very smooth shuffle, um, but we're just going to shuffle and just channel the energy and see what comes out. I'm going to go through the entire deck. Okay. It's actually quicker than than you would think. And um, so far I've done, I think you guys are you're the third sign I'm doing. And I'm loving it so far because we're, you know, the shuffling really helps um, to pick up a lot of energy. So there's, there's just messages that normally I would not get or I do not get. And they just come up uh, really surprising, like messages. Let's see. Okay, this is way too much okay we have so far wow two major arcanas so the strength reverse and the tower reverse i feel like you guys leos you've been playing it safe for quite a while you know um the wheel of fortune reverse the five of swords reverse yeah i feel like you're very very uh risk averse you're um maybe because you're you've been having a tough time you know so now it's like you're very very careful what you do what you say you know, even how you think, uh, I feel, you know, because, uh, you know, there's a lot of confusion around you. Um, and there's a real sense of instability. So it's like you don't want to do anything that is going to add to your sense of instability. I feel like you've gone through some very difficult financial times um, and a lot of changes. Just, yeah, look at this. Look at all these major arcanas. We have the moon here as well. So yeah, fears, the Prince of Cups reverse. Let's see. Yeah, I'm really feeling a lot of fear on your on your part. I feel like there's um, new opportunities that are opening up for you romantically. Um, for a lot of you guys who are single, I feel like um, some of you have actually ended a relationship. So you may have gone through divorce, but you know, if, if this resonates, it's because you've already gone through it. You've gone through the big breakup. You've gone through all the heartbreak. This is not something that's getting ready to happen in August. It's not. I feel like um, you guys are actually starting to come out of that there's new beginnings happening for you but you're very scared almost to like you know go out into the world and, and have to face it again after everything that you've been through yeah you see seven of wands so you're very much like you don't know what to expect so you're on the defense um and so i feel like a lot of you have been closed off to relationships uh very standoffish with people um distrustful is kind of what I get also yeah with the nine of wands here extremely guarded you just you want to stay out of drama you don't want uh, you'd rather just be by yourself I feel like this has been your way here see we have the ten of pentacles and then right underneath that the ten of wands reverse both of them reverse so getting over probably what was a p very painful and stressful ending um, and having just a lot of uncertainty about the future and here you're coming up here as the Queen of Wands reverse. Again, I feel like not really open uh, to new love in your life, to, to even exploring that side of it. So, but this is how you're entering the month. Let's see how this progresses, Leo. Okay, we have, yeah, the Eight of Pentacles reverse. It's like... Anything that you're not sure of that makes you feel 
in any way vulnerable or anything like that. It's like you really want no part of it because you keep having these memories of these three of swords, that heartbreak, and it just takes away any motivation to even put have the high priestess here with the ace of wands reverse so yeah anything that you don't know for sure that's any kind of mystery to you mm -mm, it turns you off completely i feel like you guys right now are looking for a sure thing if it doesn't walk like a duck and talk like a duck, it's like no that's not a duck i don't want it i don't even want to get to know the damn thing <laughs> let's see what else leo the Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you guys are coming out of a very difficult past, but uh, the energies are surely, surely shifting. And I, I do feel like some of you guys kind of lost hope. It's like, oh, nothing is shifting. You know, all the videos say that, you know, it's coming, it's happening, and no celebration yet. Because, yeah, things are just starting to change for you. Okay? Let's see. Let's put these aside and continue. So, the devil. Hmm. The devil can be a lot of things. The devil can be, you know, simply your pride getting in the way, ego, as well as, um, you know, the vices, addictions, whatnot. We have the Princess of Pentacles reverse. Princess of Cups, Four of Cups. Let me actually put these. Hmm. I still want to mix them up. Queen of Cups reverse, King of Wands reverse. A lot of people showing up here. Four of Pentacles, Seven of Cups reverse. I feel that, um, so for those of you who are single, I feel like if you if you are dating, you're purposely dating more than one person at a time. You really don't want to get detached. I mean, don't want to get detached. You don't want to get attached. And it's like this perpetual, I don't know why I keep hearing like this perpetual discontent. You know, it's like you, you're finding flaws in everybody that you meet. It's like this one uh, is not tall enough. This one is not you know, smart enough, this one laughs funny, this one does this, and, you know, that kind of thing is what I'm, um, I'm feeling here. So it's like you've um, created this wall to where it's, it's, it's kind of difficult to approach you, even though I, I do feel like there's a lot of people around you who are interested, but it's difficult to approach. Also, I feel like you purposely, in some cases, make yourself undesirable some way like if you know somebody that you're dealing with is very romantic and they want you to you know reciprocate that kind of romance like you'll purposely be very you know short with them or, or something just to turn them off we have the ten of swords reverse and the six of pentacles because yeah um i i just feel like you guys are not there yet to where you're interacting um in like a joyful or like a healthy le level with others right at this point, I feel like you're still struggling to gain some balance, you know, from, from difficulties that you've been through in the past. So this is definitely coming through, obviously, so far for uh, singles. So every video is different. I've had, you know, some that are very much geared toward couples and nothing for singles. But this feels more like a singles reading. So if you are married, this probably is not going to resonate or it's not resonating for you. Or maybe it is. Who knows? Everybody has a different situation. Okay. So we have the full reverse and the world. So yeah, if you see Leo, I mean, you're leaving 
the past behind okay you're starting a new phase but there is a part of you who's just not ready to just jump in and, and take that that leap of faith and accept it um leo is actually in this card this card the the world card does represent the four fixed signs and leo obviously is one of them so you're fixed you you, you want to stay in the past even though the past is not that great you know you haven't been really happy and joyful um and so you're kind of keeping yourself stuck in in that perpetual discontent that i was talking about uh, but there is a need for transformation, and it's happening. Look, look at all the major arcana that keep coming out. The fool, the world, death. There's transformation and change happening, whether you like it or not. But I really think you're going to like it. It's just, you know, the the acceptance. <laughs> it's difficult to get there. Believe me, I know. I'm a Taurus, so yes. I'm right there with you. The sun reverse, that's your card as well. You're just not sure. You're not sure. You're, you're so risk averse right now. It's like you're scared. There's so much that has happened to you, so much that you've had to endure. And, you know, for a long time also, I'm feeling um, in many, you know, aspects of your life. Yeah, look, we have the five of cups, the three of pentacles, the five of pentacles. Some of you may have lost uh, a job um, and it caused you know a lot of sadness in your life a lot of changes here I also feel like if it's not a job that you lost it's like people that you really depended on they kind of let you down and you know you felt like you were alone um, very unstable you felt like uh, you know people just kind of abandoned you eight of cups reverse yeah it's almost like you've been through so much that even though you sense that you even sense that, you know, changes in the air, things are shifting. It, it's hard for you to accept that, that, you know, really like the sun is really coming out. I'm not having to deal with this doom and gloom. It seems too happy to, to be or too happy, too good to be true. I don't know what is wrong with me today. My tongue is like not working in my favor, but look, we have the six of swords. So, again, Eight of Cups reverse is like having trouble letting something go, just leaving it in the past. Um, but Six of Swords is doing just, you know, th this tells me that the issue really, whatever it is that you're having trouble letting go, is emotional. It's it's emotions based. It's like logically, you're already gone. You're all you've already moved on. Logically, it's like you think to yourself. You know, I, I know this person hurt me or, or this thing happened to me or, you know, it's I, I really feel it's like a, a collective. Ugh, ridiculous. So sorry. <laughs> I really feel it's a collective of things that have happened to you. But there is a major shift happening. OK, so you know that logically, you know that. But emotionally, again, it's like, no, someone's going to hurt me again or, you know, this is going to turn out. I don't want to get my hopes up. That's the feeling that I'm getting here from you guys. But I'm telling you, the change is happening. Whether you believe it or not, whether you like it or not, but you are going to like it because you can't go anywhere but up. All right, we have the Three of Pentacles reverse. Wow, the Magician, the Chariot. Yeah, and it's going to be, I feel like when you least expect it, you're going to start making things happen and, and you're going to start seeing success. You're going to see yourself moving forward. Two of Pentacles reverse. But of course, you have to um, make that choice. It's really a choice how long you're going to keep yourself stuck because you have the power to make the changes in your life that you want to make and, you know, be successful. Whoop. Prince of Wands, reverse. And that is still that, you know, uncertainty, that feeling like, oh, do I really have what it takes to start again? But yeah, you do. Nine of Pentacles. That's a very independent, like, I can do it all type of feeling I get from that. Two of Swords. Again, 
the issues are, I feel concentrated like emotionally and also with regards to your own self-esteem. But logically you're thinking you're very clear headed. Okay. It's just that your ego <laughs> tends to get in the way as well. So just keep that in mind. I, I, I feel like you guys are being a little bit proud and, and, and hard on yourself at the same time. You know, it's like you have very high expectations and you cannot stand to feel like you're failing, uh, you know, at relationships, at whatever. Temperance reverse. <sighs> I'm getting a lot of, yeah, like frustration. Again, that feeling of like uh, not believing that things are going to start getting better because it's been it's been quite a while i want to say it's been quite a while for you guys queen of swords reverse yeah um just not having that surety that you can make this happen but you can i'm telling you you can it's happening for you here okay we have the king of pentacles reverse the star five of wands hermit reverse and the seven of swords this is going to be it's it, it's true it's like the stars are aligning for you okay we have the star card right here in the middle um if you think about it it's like the way things are right now as far as like your relationships it doesn't like you don't see a way to move forward to any kind of commitment anything that you really value that you really feel is going to um represents success to you okay so in all aspects of your life not just relationships but in all aspects i feel like this is going to impact you but things are shifting this is like a universal thing that's happening for you you know obviously the sun coming into your sign is a big help um but yeah the things that seem so out of reach for you are actually happening it's it's a matter of like you struggling though with believing that with having the faith with believing mostly in yourself is what i what i feel here and i almost feel like you guys lost faith in um like your approach to matters it's like you didn't trust your your own um how do i say it? you didn't trust your own gut feelings anymore you didn't trust your own judge of character um because it had failed you it's like a, me a mechanism that failed you in the past and so it really uh, messed you up as far as like relationships and when i say relationships i feel in this case i'm getting a sense that it's not just specific to romantic relationships i feel it's also you know friendships family any kind of relationship this really can apply to um, because it's you shying away from getting too close to people or, uh, even, you know, with goals, personal goals that you have, uh, having an attachment to any kind of goal, because you feel like the moment that you have that attachment, uh, it's just not going to work out. It's just going to lead to disappointment. Okay. But I feel like um, you've spent so much time on your own. You've spent so much time just kind of thinking to yourself and thinking of all of the things that could go wrong because I feel like that's where your focus has been for quite a while. Um, in a way, it did you some good because I do feel like you gained some sense of um, peace within um, because I do see you thinking like having a sort of strategy for the future now um in other words like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel i feel like maybe a few months ago a year ago you were in a, in a more darker place and it could have even been longer than that but i feel like you guys were in a more darker place where you didn't even trust yourself and um you're seeing a way forward a way out of that i don't feel like you're quite on that path some of you are some of you aren't it's like you're you're right there you're you're almost at the end of like this healing cycle that needed to happen for you um and then we have here the lovers and the queen of pentacles so again we're, we're seeing here you know a shift like um, a more open sort of energy here towards love towards relationships but it's after 
a period also of manifestation is what I'm feeling. So it's like a struggle between you not believing that things are changing and then you start to see these major changes and it's like, oh my gosh, yes, this is what's happening. This is what I envisioned for myself. And you start probably meeting new people that fit the description of what it is that you were uh, wanting. Um, I feel like somebody may have been watching you actually from afar, like you had some sort of secret admirer or you have some sort of secret admirer that um, that's where, you know, things start to shift here where there's like a, a new possibility um, and it could be a surprise, but I feel like this is somebody around you, somebody you know. I do get, um, well, I get air energy, I get earth energy, so it could be an Aquarius, Gemini. Any sign, really, it doesn't matter. We have the hangman. Yeah, you're always going to struggle with the, mm, but what if this and what if that, you know? So, because again, you're going to remember the time when, oh, I thought this guy was, you know, all that and he ended up not being, or this woman or whatever. Um, but <laughs> I'm feeling here that. You're going to be presented with opportunities to pursue situations that may make you really, really happy, that are going to, you know, really look like everything that you've been wishing for. Um, and I feel like this is an opportunity for you to, yeah, be presented with that and take the time to look at it, look at it, analyze it and make a decision again. Okay. What is good? What, what you want to do, what you uh, feel you should do what you feel you shouldn't do and who you think you should pursue because I feel like you know that's what you need is to get back into the flow of things to get yourself out of your head and stop you know overthinking like just make it quick because I feel like you know the hangman is is more of a longer wait so it's like you're you're struggling between well let me just hang out here for a few more months and see what happens I'll just be here by myself for another whatever 12 months or six months or whatever or I can take a short break and take a look at the situation yeah I'm going for it or no this doesn't look like it's for me let me move on to the next you know that kind of thing but it, it all comes down to the same thing that's why I feel like this reading is actually more general than than usual um, but I feel like it's because it comes down to your self-esteem at this t at this point in time um, so it's really not about any other particular person. I feel like, you know, that's going to be different for each of you. But I do feel there are people who are interested in you at this time. Um, that you may be missing these opportunities if you're too focused on whatever happened to you in the past. Okay. We have the Six of Wands, Ten of Cups, Reverse, Justice, Emperor, the Ace of Cups, Reverse, and the Two of Cups, and the King of Cups, Reverse. Hmm. So, yeah, again, I'm feeling like if you guys don't watch it, it, the issues like here, your emotions, it, you're having trouble getting a hold of your emotions or it's not actually that you're having trouble. It's that you fear losing your ability. OK, because I feel like you have now with this emperor card here right in the middle and justice. It's like you finally got a hold on things, right? After, you know, you triumphed over the, the sadness that you had to endure and the endings and all of that. You triumphed. Um, and I feel like justice was on your side somehow. But still, the emotions still follow you. Even though you have possibly new opportunities for love, there's something about... A broken heart or, or, or you know some trauma that you went through in the past that just doesn't allow you to still be completely open it's like and even though some of you might think you are I feel like this um, necessity to to control the situation is really hindering um, you finding somebody who you you know you deserve to be with 
We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Empress. Yeah, you see, I feel like you're closing yourself off, like keeping yourself in this holding pattern. Nine of Swords, Reverse. Nine of Cups, Reverse. Again, your necessity to not want any more drama in your life, it's like you're cutting, or not cutting people out. Or, well, some of you might be, um, but it's like you're... you're, you're being too risk averse but trying to be too careful trying to control everything but you're denying yourself happiness because you're trying to play it so safe okay and and maybe not even wanting to get into any kind of commitments because of that so like i said there may be somebody who's interested in getting into a commitment with with some of you but you're blocking it six of cups i it could be somebody from your past or if it's not from your past, it's somebody maybe that you have been with all along, water sign especially. You may have been, may be even married to this person, but I feel like there is a blockage in like the love or the the um, the emotion, the exchange of emotion between the two of you. And the final card is the Eight of Wands. So I feel like things are changing for you quickly. There's quick, fast movement here for you in your life. Um, and you're going to be faced with that decision of, am I going to let my pride get in the way and, and miss out on, you know, true love or miss out on the opportunity of love just for the sake of me controlling everything around me so that nothing goes wrong because I'm the one moving the pieces? Or am I just going to say to hell with it and just go with the flow, you know, and live on that adrenaline and excitement? Um, I don't know. It's going to be your choice, Leo but things are moving things are changing and the more you try to control the situation it's like you are cheating yourself out of some really satisfying times okay so that's what i have for you guys for relationships for this month i hope you enjoyed that um i'm really enjoying the reading so leave me a comment so let me know what you think but for now let's move on to your finance and career reading so I'm taking my everyday tarot cards out again because they hardly get used and I really love them so much. All right, Leo's finance and career. Let's see what we have for you. We have the, ooh, the nine of cups, the knight of blades, reverse. In the past, the Six of Blades reverse, Knight of Wands reverse, and the Page of Cups. So I feel like you guys have been tr having some trouble progressing from a difficult situation. Um, and then all of a sudden you get some good news, but it's like good news and bad news. The good news is, yeah, things are looking better. Things are getting better for you. The bad news is there may be some delay in something that you want to do. But I do feel like you guys are having a new beginning or you're starting off something that's, um, it feels happier. It feels like more to your liking, like it sparks your creative interests or something like that. Um, but it's definitely good news. It's just that it's mixed with some delay sort of energy is what I feel so clarifying that six of swords I'm sorry yeah six of blades okay six of blades six of swords same thing clarifying that is the knight of wands the eight of swords reverse and the high priestess so again here Leo it's really interesting because I feel you know this is very much about the high priestess with the eight of swords reverse is about you using your own intuition your own inner knowledge um, to let you know intuitively when it's time to just stop overthinking things and act. Okay, this is like cut it out with the, the mental energy because it's like you were holding yourself back from progressing because you were overthinking, over worrying that maybe you were making some sort of mistake or you should be doing this or that when maybe you were doing everything that you could be at the moment. Okay, so let's see. We have the Nine of Cups with the Sun in Reverse. The Queen of Wands Reverse and the Five of Cups. So, interesting. I, I see opportunity for you to have this um, happy moment, this uh, abundance. Nine of Cups is about having your, 
your wish is coming true, but it's like you don't see it. Again, there's like a not trusting that this is actually going to happen uh, and focusing on the negative here. Let's see what the Knight of Blades is. Two of Cups. Knight of Blades reverse, clarified by the Two of Cups. Some sort of delay or bad news about um, an agreement here. Um, okay, we have the Five of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Let's see. I feel like um, there's some sort of disagreement on the terms of something, the terms of a contract, perhaps. Um, but yeah, there, there's like a difficulty here in reaching an agreement, which, uh, you know, I don't remember when Mercury goes back direct. Let's see. I should know this. I can't remember at the moment. Let me see. I'm looking it up. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's uh, all the way till mid August. Because, you know, you have that shadow period. So I would say like all the way through to like the 15th of August. Um, not a great time to have any kind of negotiations when it comes to like any kind of contract. So just know that, yeah, don't get too pessimistic about the situation. It's just a delay. It's like a roadblock probably towards after the um, mid-month is when things should clear up because we do have this page of cups here, okay? So right here in the present, we have the Knight of Wands reverse. Again, that's like stopping something in its tracks. Um, the Hierophant, okay? This could be like a bureaucratic type of thing, you know, where you just have to do things. So, yeah, it's something about structure. Like you can't just uh, go at your own pace or do what you want. There's like very strict rules or there's structure around this so there may be delays because of some rules some bureaucratic red tape and it's very frustrating to you because you can't uh yeah two of swords okay so you're waiting for like a decision of something to happen um and you can't quite make it happen with the magician reverse so it's very frustrating but in the future we do have this page of cups which um feels really joyful really happy new beginnings here we have the king of pentacles reverse so again some of you may have been um, unemployed or just not really feeling very abundant well here's an opportunity a new opportunity for for you to turn that situation around yeah see we have the ace of pentacles so this could be in the form of like i said um, possibly a new hobby that turns into a business uh, a new offer for a new job that makes you really happy it's something creative it can also be with the page of cups it could be like a study studying um whoa uh what else do we have let me see one more card here okay wow the nine of pentacles yeah i'm telling you this looks good you may not trust it in the beginning, but this is going to lead to something really good for you. Uh, that's going to be you for you specifically, like um, a lot of growth, a lot of, uh, like I said, you're going to be, I feel you're going to be very proud of whatever comes of this. Uh, and it's going to bring more stability into your life. Okay. There's just a lot of rules here. So don't get too frustrated. Don't think that it's not going to go through. I see this happening for you. I see it going you know to in a good direction it's just uh you know as always we have some delays especially with the retrograde here i think is kind of you're a bit of your enemy this month okay but leo looks good i hope you enjoyed the reading i'll see you guys soon